Hallelujah. Uh, I can ask for some question with you before I thankful Dr. Uh, Tun Mathir because very nice uh, uh, opening the program and uh, also uh, my High Commission Pakistan is here and uh, also I value respected. Uh, I am from Pakistan, Christian, my name is Yusuf Masi and uh, I want to talk with you Hindi and own language. Can you? No, if you talk about Hindi, it's better. Regular, I can understand Hindi, but all this audience majority will not. There are very few Pakistanis and Indians here. So if you can't speak English, because speak in English. I have a lot of questions. Ask one question which is the most important. But I want to ask uh, with our language, uh, easy for me and easy for you. Okay, you, you ask in Hindi and because I translate just, into English. Just now, uh, one sister asked you some question. You, you ask in Hindi, I will translate in English. Yes, brother. Okay. My first question is that कि मैं पाकिस्तान के स्कूलों में पढ़ता रहूं और सलामिया दुनिया सब कुछ पढ़ा मैंने ठीक है वहां पर हमारे टीचर थे कारी क्रामो साहब तो अभी फौत हो गए खुदा उनको जन्नत नसीब करे तो वहां किताबों में लिखा है कि नबी मोहम्मद सब नबियों के नूर हैं ठीक है दूसरी तरफ आपने काफी प्रोग्राम आपने देखे हैं मैंने आपने आपके तो आपने हमेशा लफ्ज इस्तेमाल किया हसाई हम हसाई नहीं हैं ठीक है बाइबल में आपने पढ़ा होगा बाइबल में आपको लफ्ज असाई कभी नहीं मिलेगा ठीक है ये आपने नाम दिया दूसरा आप देखें जलाली किस नबी की पदेश जो जलाली है भाई साहब कोऑर्डिनेटर ने कहा कि सवाल दो या तीन सेंटेंसेस में करो उससे ज्यादा करेंगे तो स्पीच हो जाएगा आपका सवाल के आप सवाल कीजिए मैं जवाब दूंगा दो या तीन सेंटेंसेस में आप सवाल कीजिए और मैं भी आपकी तरह बढ़ना चाहता हूं ना <laughs> तो आप क्या कीजिए हॉल हायर करो और पेपर में इश्तिहार दो क्या मैं तकरीर करने वाला हूं जो आने के आएगा वो ही ना इस... तो आज आपकी तकरीर सुनने के लिए लोग ने हैं तो ये सवाल जवाब का सेशन है अब सवाल पीछे दो या तीन सेंटेंसेस में बस आप ये बता दें इन दोनों नबियों में जलाली पदेश दोनों में किसकी थी कौन से दो नबी में से नबी मोहम्मद और यसु अल मसीह में द ब्रदर आज द क्वेश्चन क्या बिटवीन मोहम्मद सल्लल्लाहु अलैहि वसल्लम एंड बिटवीन जीसस का पीस बी अपॉन who was mo jalali can be translated into jalali ka aapko ye bolo who is better no glory keh le glorious jalali ko dash keh sakte hain aap behtar nahi aap dono mein ye bataye ki dono mein se sab ki muqaddas dono mein se muqaddas padesh kiski hai whether asking a question that who was born better muqaddas padesh means who was born mo pure He is a Christian. He is asking a question, trying to lead me. And this Christian missionary normally do. What he is asking, who was born more pure, indicating that Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam was born naturally. He had a mother and father. Jesus Christ, peace be upon him, had a mother but no father. So normally Christian missionaries ask this question, which is beating around the bush and then asking that Prophet Muhammad had a mother and father. Prophet Jesus had a mother but no father. Who's greater? Who's greater? The reply to this is given in the Quran in Surah Al Imran, chapter three, verse fifteen, and which says, "Inna masala Isa in the Allahi kama sala Adam. Khalaqa min turab, summa kala lo kun fa kun." The similitude of Jesus in the sight of Allah is the same as Adam, peace be upon him. He was created from dust. And said, "Be and it was." If he wants to say that Jesus Christ is superior, he is God because he was born without a father. Then Adam, peace be upon him, is greater God. He had no mother and no father. No, 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 no. Adam ko Khuda ne banaya tha. Bhai sahab, apne sawal puche mera jawab suno abhi. Mera jawab khatam ne hua. Apko lecture dene ka to hall ayar ko isti ayar do. Ye lecture ka time nahi, ye sawal jawab ka time hai. Ap mera jawab suniye. If They say that Jesus is God because he had got no father. Then Adam, peace be upon him, is greater God according to the Bible and the Quran because he had no mother, no father. So the reason is that Almighty God is the Creator. He can create in different ways. Normal human being to born, you require mother and father. But Almighty God even can create without mother and father. That is Adam, peace be upon him. He can create with mother, without a father. That is Isa alayhi salam. With a man and without a female is Bibi Hawa. Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala is the Creator. So just because 
Jesus Christ, peace be upon him, has no father, that does not make him God. If that is the case, then Adam, peace be upon him, is greater God with Christians will never agree. So this is what Quran says, when you talk with the people, non-Muslim, Come to common term as between us and you. So this is how Christian missionaries, they try and catch fish. They try and catch fish, they try and trap the Muslims by quoting from the Quran and the Muslims who don't know comparative religion, they get trapped. If you hear my lecture, deceit in Christian evangelism. Deceit in Christian evangelism. How do they deceive the people with false things? And the trap is a full lecture of mine. That will give you how the Christian missionary try and catch fish. What we believe, we should not deceive anyone. We believe in haq. As I said in my talk, وَقُلْ جَعَلْ حَقْ وَزَاقَ الْبَاطِلِ إِنَّ الْبَاطِلَ قَانَ زَوْكَ When truth is hazard in falsehood, falsehood perishes. For falsehood is by its nature bound to perish. What Jesus Christ, peace be upon him, said, I want to tell you, brother, in the Gospel of John, chapter number 16, verse number 12 to 14, I have many things to say unto you, but he cannot bear them now. For he, when the spirit of truth shall come, he shall guide you unto all truth. He shall not speak of himself. All that he shall he speak. So what we realize, your Jesus Christ, peace be upon him, spoke about the last and final messenger to come and his name is Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him.